I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Wolves reporter Tim Spears from a wet and windy at Liberty Stadium. Tim, stop the press. Stop the press. Wolves have lost a game. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> They've lost a game. What are you going to say there? Yeah, it's been a while. It has been a while. It's been a while. October-ish? Yeah, but pre-winter. Mm. Pre-winter, uh, yes. They've got through the, se the, through the season <laughs> yeah. uh, without losing uh, until tonight. And yeah, they're, they're, it's, it's been coming, really. Um, mm. Two nil-nils in a row. And then... Tonight, poor, below, below par, off it, however you want to look at it, they didn't do enough to no. win, to be honest. Started really slowly and, yes, recovered via Jota, who was magnificent, but he was the only one, gone through, gone through them really, he was the only one that really did himself justice tonight, I thought, and played to his potential. It was good to see, actually, because it's been a while. He sparked their comeback, but it was all too brief, and then one of many individual errors that were made tonight as it's cost them, namely from, from Courtney Hawes. I, I just guess, you know, this, this is a side Swansea devoid on confidence. I just feel like it's an opportunity missed, really. It's very uh, frustrating. You know, for once, Nathan, you're absolutely right. It's, it's, an, it's an opportunity missed. I mean, Sw Swansea are keeping the ball in the corner from the 87th minute. Yeah. Um, and, and as soon as Wolves put some, put some pressure on them, you know, you, you can see the fear in them. Mm. And they named a stronger team tonight, by the way, who had Mawson, Alfie Mawson, Jordan Ayew, who was excellent. He wasn't in the first game, but he, he ran Wolves ragged in the first 10 minutes. Got his goal, excellent goal. I'll have to see it again, but he skipped past a few challenges, yeah. by the way. Um, and yeah, and uh, Wolves just, just weren't themselves. I mean, uh, you know, there's quite a few negative tweets going around tonight, and people kind of responding saying, well, yeah, you know, this is Wolves' second team, but of course they're not going to look as good. That doesn't really add up for me because the second team's done very well this season, and it's another big chance for them to impress tonight. And a lot of them have let themselves down, to be honest. And, and let's be honest, a lot of them are going to be twirling their thumbs for, for, for a few games because they're not going to get back in, that, that no, team. Absolutely, and, and I feel sorry for the likes of what, Will Norris. You know, will, will we see him again this season? If John mm. Reddy doesn't get injured or suspended, then, then probably not. Yeah. Um, Morgan Gibbs-White, who ran himself into the ground tonight, was, was cramping up, cramping out uh, at full time. And I thought I thought he did he did his best really in very difficult circumstances. You know, when we're going to see him, mm. Brighton at Bakari, those the, the three centre halves, none of whom covered themselves in glory. It's got to be said. Um, so yeah, no, it's, it's it's a shame for them. But it's you know you look at the bigger picture. It's all about promotion from the promotion to the Premier League. It's all about, that's mm. that's their aim this season. So that's that's the be all and end all, isn't it? Not, and, and then, then concentrate on that. Not nine changes for, for for tonight. Do you think there'll be another nine changes then for Forest? Not many people are going to keep the place tonight, is there? I mean, obviously the, the full-backs, but apart from that, wing-backs. God, who will keep their place? No, I can't think I can't think of anybody. I think... Um, Do Doherty and Douglas, basically. Apart from them, you know... I mean, cost them, arguably, I don't know what happened. Caballero no, the, not the, in the squad tonight? The, 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 back, the back three will, will revert. The midfield two will come back in, Neves and Sace. And then your front three for Saturday, for me, is Cavallero, Bonatini and Jota. Yeah. I thought Mir was, was really disappointing. Um, wasn't good. I, mean, I don't want to compare him to certain Wolf strikers who didn't score any goals last season before being sold, but it sort of did remind me of that guy. Uh, everything just just bounced off him. He yeah. was completely anonymous. He, he didn't hold the ball up. Um, you saw a difference with Bonatini when he came on, which which kind of allows, you know, when Bonatini holds the ball up, it allows everybody to push forward. But first off, it was bouncing off, off me. So Wolves, so Wolves didn't have an opportunity to get as many players forward to join in an attack. Um, so, so their only real threat in the first half was give the ball to Costa and let him run at the yeah, defence. That was the only outlet. That was the only outlet that they had. Um, but Costa's not, not Costa yet, is he? So, so he was trying, he couldn't do it all on his own. Mm -hmm. um, so that, so they, had, they had no no real focused plan of attack in that first half. And yeah, Mia, you know, a couple of decent cameos, but you know, didn't do it tonight, unfortunately. And then Josh which, and which, by the way, has implications, I think. On, on the next couple of weeks, yeah, as far as transfer window goes, you yeah. think you think that they're going to have to look yeah, for someone because, else? because I think it's it's this was his, this was a big chance. No, he, he's going to be part of the squad going forward. But I think this was his audition to say, look, you don't have to buy another striker. Can you be number two? But you look at it now, right? Bonatini hasn't scored his Blues. Mm -hmm. Mia, yeah, you know, a, a poor game tonight. Yeah. You've got to say, Costa's one one game on, one game off at yeah. best. Yeah, Jot has been. It's fantastic tonight, but it's been below mm -hmm. below best. Mm -hmm. So who are you looking at for, for firepower? Yeah, just Cavalera at the moment. Yeah, sure. So uh, that's a concern, and I think I think 
I predict that they will act in the transfer market. And, and frustrating, really, when Jota and Bonatini came on, Jota scored a, a fantastic goal. And you think for the few minutes that they were he- uh, sorry, level, Three. that there was only going to be one yeah. winner. No, 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 and no, it no, wasn't no, going to be Swansea. No, no. As, as soon as, as, soon as um, Bonatini and, and Jota um, stripped off from the bench, the whole, the whole away end was, 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 get, was getting moving. Oh, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's one's the analysis on the way. Uh, that, the whole the whole away end it lifted it lifted the team. Suddenly you felt they had some momentum, even though they haven't really done anything at this point. Then then they, then they both came on. The whole game changed. They got the goal, fantastic goal from Jota, by the way. Sends, oh, awesome. sends uh, I don't know who it was, but he sends sends some defender to Cardiff completely off the rails, <laughs> sliding the other way, and a great finish. And then he had another curler just wide a minute later. And you think, there's only one win at this point. Yeah. And then just out of nowhere. Some a regulation cross comes into the box. I don't know what Courtney Hawes is doing. He's had a bit of a jittery night, as did Miranda, as did Danny Barr. Although Miranda could go forward and played the ball for Jota's goal. Anyway, cause I don't know what he's doing. It kind of bounces off his thigh. It's one of them. You know, it's either a diving header clear or you or you just volley it into the stands. Mm. But he seems like it seems like he's trying to control it, trying to trap it. It's bounced off him. Bonnie scored straight away, and that's it. And there were a few, there were a few errors tonight, which isn't like Wolves. Certainly isn't like Wolves' defenders this season. Can you blame the pitch a little bit? Because it's, no, it's no. not good. I mean, um, they, they try and keep the ball. Nuno wants to keep the ball all the time, try and pass it along the ground. It, it doesn't help. It, it didn't suit them. No. It didn't suit them, and it was really slowing up in the second half. Oh, it's absolutely peeing it down yeah. for about five hours here. I'm dreading walking back to the car. Oof. And um, it's yeah, it, it did affect Wolves' play, but it's safe for both teams, isn't it? Mm, yeah. That's what and that, to be fair, that's what Nuno just said as well. He's not using it as an excuse, but it didn't didn't help Wolves. No. But let's move on to, to happy times in the Championship and, and Forest on Saturday. Yep, let's do that. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. <laughs> no, no, go on, go on. Yeah. No, I'm just going to say that you know that more well, the could the Jew are winning, the Jew a few goals, aren't they? Because some of the Wolves fans will be fr- frustrated on social media. They're frustrated tonight. There's two thousand that have yeah. travelled across here, and they want to see a little bit of yeah, performance, well, especially after Barnsley that was disappointing as well. You know, they hadn't, like I said, they hadn't, they hadn't scored in two games, which that's, that's a long run for Wolves. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, um, so, so uh, I tell you what, the good thing about the good thing about this is. They've got a run now of I think five Saturday good, matches good chances, in, yeah. in a row. Yeah. Right, they've got Forest at home, Ipswich away, Sheffield United at home, QPR at home, and Preston away. That takes you up to mid-February. Four wins and a draw, Timothy. Um, and then they've got Norwich at home in midweek. But but yeah, they've got they've got Saturdays in a row, which sure. is great. Rest and recuperation. We saw a, you know Nevis coming off with cramp on Saturday. Gibbs White was cramping up again tonight. You know there are some tired legs out there, but they can take stock. They can make any moves in the transfer market that that, that they want to. Um, and yeah, if if you added a if you added a trip to Notts County at the end of the month, then the Ipswich games then midweek, then you're looking at maybe another cup game. So you know, likely would have beaten Notts County. Yes. So then it all adds up, and then and then and then and then you start having to really move your chess pieces around as to dictate who plays in what game. Whereas now, I'd rather have that problem. Though. I'd knows, like to have a problem like that. No, no, it'd be lovely to have a cup run. It was opening up for a cup run, like mm. I said, with Notts County away, and and you, you can see Wolves beating most Premier League teams really, except for the top six, but. You know, Cella V, it hasn't happened. That's yeah. not that's not what this is. Cella V. That's not the, the bewitched the bewitched um, stunning oh, oh. song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, just, a bit uh, cool, just a bit of culture to the so, special star. Uh, wrong, wrong. Um, <laughs> wrong so, country, wrong country. So we <laughs> so uh, so we move on. Yeah. Next next European tour, but hopefully in a couple of years, right? Yes. Uh, podcast tonight? Tonight. Yeah, film a little podcast tonight in, in, in Swansea. That should be available tomorrow. Uh, not meant to be tonight. Uh, Swansea City 2, Wolverhampton Wonders 1. They're out the FA Cup for all the post-match reaction. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.